Hello, I'm Tim Durham with Durham's Bee Farm, and um, uh, if you go down below and you click on subscribe and in your email, then when every time I make a new video, it will send you an email to let you know I made one. So uh, right now we're going to we're going to this the purpose of this video is to encourage you to. Uh, Take care of the sw swarming situation. Uh, at, the, at the end of this video, I've got something personal to tell you. And excuse me. And if you don't like it, then you know you don't have to watch it. But anyway, the bees are. This is uh, March nineteenth. The bees are going to town. I mean, they're getting it. And uh, so we're approaching the swarming season. And um, uh, you have two. You have two choices. You can be passive, or you can go in your hive and, ch and check your bees to see if they're going to swarm. And uh, if you haven't gone into your hive before, I know you're anxious. Anxious about it. You think you know I can't do it. You can do it. Now. On the, the last weekend of April, I'm going to put new queens in these two hives. And I'm going to show you how I do it. But prior to that, I need to go in there and be sure they don't swarm on me. Now, I'm going to verbally tell you how to do it and encourage you to do it. You cannot hurt anything. You cannot hurt anything. Uh, new, uh, new beekeepers will suit up for protection and... Uh, you go in, you go into your hive, and you start taking the frames out on the on the outside edge. If your hive is preparing to swarm toward the center of the frames, the inside frames, you will see a what looks like a peanut. I mean, that's a good description. A peanut. Uh, you know what I mean? A peanut. And it will be that peanut will be hanging off of the comb, and so, baby, they're getting ready to swarm when you see that. So, uh, you have two choices: you can split them, and that's fine, or you can cut the, the, the you can cut the queen cells off of the frame. Now, one word of caution: if you elect to cut those queen cells off. And I don't care if you, you've never been in a hive before, you can do it. And uh, so if you elect to cut off those queen cells, you must, you must shake all those bees off that frame. When you shake them off, they won't attack you no more than they did earlier. But if you do not shake all those bees off so you can examine that frame for a queen set, you will miss one. If you don't shake all the bees off and you just take the frame and shake it like that. So let's say that, that you elect to cut all the queen cells off. All right, exactly 10 days later, you need to do that again. If you wait 11 or 12 days, you've waited too long. So, I encourage you to do it. Uh, anytime any of us do something we've never done before, we're a little anxious about it. I have, I'm 74 years old, and uh, a man told me for the first time in my life, I've never heard anybody tell me, that you need to adjust the, the overhead valves on a, on a lawnmower, riding lawnmower. I've never done that. Never heard anybody say you need to do it. But I went on YouTube, learned how to do it, and I did it the other day. So once you go into your hive and you check them, the next time you'll be more confident. The next time you'll be more confident, you can do it. So please do it. If you think, and I made the mistake many, many times in my life, if you think, oh, I'll catch the swarm, 90% of the time you will not catch it. It will, it will, 
You think you will, but you won't. So, all right. Uh, if you have any questions about checking for queen cells for swarm, uh, indications of swarming, let me know. I'll be happy to help you. Uh, two old men helped me back when I was uh, 50 years ago. So the only way I can pay them back is helping them. Now, let me tell you, I'm 74 years old, and I'm I'm active, you know what I mean? And uh, But I'm going to tell you about a, a young friend I've got. And uh, uh, his mother, <laughs> his mother come to visit, you know. And uh, he's got a, a housekeeper. And he saw his mother eyeballing, you know, paying attention to the house, housekeeper. And uh, he realized that, uh, you know, she was young and pretty and curvaceous. Curvaceous. And uh, so he figured he knew what his mama was thinking. So he said, Mama said, we're, we're not sleeping together, said, Everything is professional. So, Mama went back home, you know, and the housekeeper, uh, a few days later, told the young man, said, uh, you know, ever since your mother was here, I cannot find that nice silver gravy ladle nice silver gravy ladle since your mother was here so my friend he wrote his mother and he said you know mama I'm not saying you did and I'm not saying you didn't but that nice silver gravy ladle has come up missing <laughs> ever since you was here. So his mama read that and a few days later he received a letter in the mail and said, son, <laughs> she said, son, I'm not saying that you're sleeping with her. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying you're not sleeping with her. But son, if she <laughs> if she if she had been sleeping in her bed, she, <laughs> she would have found that nice silver gravy. <laughs> gravy ladle <laughs> you have to love it I'm telling you you have to love it alright if y'all have any questions if y'all have any questions let me know I mean you gotta laugh about some things alright y'all let me know if you have any questions bye <laughs>